Hey hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather and welcome back to the channel and finally after a couple of years I am doing an updated Book of Shadows tour for my Book of Shadows here and previously known as Scalebound I have upgraded the name of this Book of Shadows to be Udamiris and I figured that Udamiris would be a much more fitting name for this book than Scalebound but basically I'm gonna go ahead and give you an updated tour of my Book of Shadows. I've done a lot of work in it since I have had my previous Book of Shadows tour and I wanted to just give you guys another peek inside. It's also been heavily requested so I really do hope you guys enjoy this little tour. I hope it can inspire you and I hope that it can give you some ideas for maybe your own crafts. If you have any ideas of your own, please leave them down in the comments below as I'd love to know. If you are new, Merry Meet, my name is Azura and I post new enchanting videos every week. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content like the videos for more like this one and leave me a comment down below sharing your perspective your opinion or what you would like to see next so with that being said don't forget to hit the notification bell that never actually works anyway and let's jump right on into this book tour i hope you enjoy the first notable changes you may see is that my cover is shiny and that there's a coin glued to it this coin is my favorite. It has the dragon and the phoenix on it from Chinese mythology and culture. It represents prosperity mostly, but there's lots of symbolism behind it that I will not get into this video. I just love it so much. It's my favorite addition that I've done to my Book of Shadows, and I, I'm in love. Next we have the charms, and the only thing that's really updated about the charms is the fact that I have a azurite and a labradorite inside of the little metal cage the other charm has not changed on the back as you can see a little sneak peek here it has a blue and white mess it's supposed to be a representation of my inner flame inner light but i really badly messed up on it so i need to paint over it again in the cover colors let it dry then try it again before i can actually seal the cover the cover has a shine to it on the top, but it actually ruined the peacock feather I put there first, so I had to glue a new pristine peacock feather that I will not spray. On the inside pocket, I keep all of my extra tidbits that I'll be crafting with on the inside or things that I want to add and glue in later. For example, I have my little uh, water label for the elemental section of it and absolutely love this it came out so beautifully i cheat and trace it off the computer but you don't need to know that and i just keep it tucked away in here i also keep things like this key to the draconic script that you can find in dancing with dragons by dj conway i personally love writing with it it's not for everyone not every person who works with dragons uses this or believes in it and that's cool but i enjoy it it helps me get in that zone and this little triple goddess here is so adorable and was sent to me by one of you hatchlings out there, so thank you. And I will also be adding that in here later. The iconic Book of Shadows hasn't really updated very much, but we'll get there. Um, next is the table of contents section, and I will be creating this once the entire book is filled. On the page next to it is my book blessing and curse so don't open my book without me opening it first or you are screwed and next to it is the terms and definitions sec section which will just have the basics but this is the first big section in the book which is azura dragon feather and basically the basics about who i am as a practitioner what i believe in who i am just kind of things like that that egg is what i believe my egg looks like when i am in a dragon form or before i am hatched i guess uh, it's kind of changed over time but that's like basically how it is and mostly how i can draw it this really hasn't changed much the inside of it since my last tutorial except the little tiny piece right here that is my zodiac info and i did all the symbols for the zodiac and all the names of the different zodiacs and what my zodiac is for that one and i did this by looking into multiple websites to cross-reference and get the most accurate information that i can i recommend using multiple sources if you are able to and that's pretty much just this cover here despite the fact that on the feather side of azura dragon feather originally it was f-e-a-t-h-e-r i had to update it but i made a mistake in gluing it with crazy glue which was a liquid glue instead of a glue stick so it's kind of feathered out and i will have to redo it again so that's fun next we have my guardians and guides and then we have my familiars and those will just be the ones that i work with and have had in my life next is the awakening and kundalini section the connection section ooh, that sounds fun 
and then we have the breathing um, and just breathing techniques and divination oh excuse me we have meditation and grounding and we have chakras which is super important to me um, we have auras and how to see auras what are auras kinds of things we have dreams and lucid dreaming which is a huge part of my practice super necessary then we have astral projection vibration energy and frequency and then beings of light and lastly we have consciousness and then this section with the little different uh like wicca witchcraft things these are just practices that i choose to use but i thought i was originally gonna have a title page at the top and then just fill with eight total in the the bottom section but i'm going to scrap a title section and just add three more at the top so I can have eight plus three. Moving on, we have the Wiccan side of my Book of Shadows and I've updated the one side with the short version of the Wiccan read. I erased the upside down pentacle behind the pentacle in the center. And then on this side, I show the fold out uh, that I didn't in the last one. And then the center hasn't changed. It's still the Wiccan read that I wrote shown previously, but focuses on the end ye harm none portion, which is the biggest thing I take away from the Wiccan read really resonate with that, but not everyone does, it's just a really important part of my practice. Next we have the God and Goddess section that I will include all of the information on the deities that I work with and just them in general. Then we have a uh, earth, water, fire, air, and spirit section of my Book of Shadows, plus a handmade book charm that I made. I have two handmade book charms. Might downsize them in the future, but I really enjoy having bookmarks, uh, book charms, bookmarks. They're attached to the book charm portion of my Book of Shadows, but yeah, really enjoy them. After the spirit section, we have the wheel of the year, and then we have the seasons, and then we have the Sabbath section. And the Sabbath section is really epic because I'm obsessed and ritual is a huge thing so I have rituals in each of them and yeah it's really important for me to work on that because I love celebrating the seasons and the cycles it helps me feel the most connected in my practice that's why my cover pages for the um, sabbats are so extra but I love that and this little page here is for the spell and then this one is the ritual. So each one will have a spell and a ritual folded the same way that these ones are. And each section will have it to where you can just pull it out of the book. So I don't have to have the entire book open for the ritual because this book is really big and bulky. So, well for me it is, for my hands it is. But yeah, uh, it's just easier for me to have like a ritual scroll thing that I can pull out and just like drape over my altar when I'm working for easy reference. And so I can just keep my book of shadows wherever it needs to be and focus on the ritual at hand instead of making sure the book of shadows doesn't fall. So every single one of them will look like in bulk on the inside, but I have yet to work on some of the other ones like Beltane, Midsummer, Lamas, and Mabon. But then we also have the sound page that has been added to a little bit, but I have a few more things that I'll be adding to it. And this one has the shine on the front, which eventually all of them will have the high shine. It makes it water resistant and it preserves the plants just as I put them in. And then we have the Yule side. There's some extra rose petals there that I'll be adding later. But yeah, it's just really nice, easy in one place. I like it. I love it a lot. Next, we have Espits and the Lunar Cycle. Here we have the moon signs. Absolutely love it. Got this out of a little... Um, I'll put the name on the front because I don't actually remember the name of it. But the next thing is my little Power of Moon Blood booklet and it just has a bunch of correspondences and things about the power of moon blood and I absolutely love it. So it starts with correspondences, moon blood, definitions, moon cycle care, collection and storage, biohazards, safety tips, properties, symbolism, um, reproductive diagram, all those things are necessary. And yeah, so moving forward we have drawing down the moon, then the witchcraft section, and 13 goals of a witch. This is uh, the correspondence section and then we have the magic section and that's my definition of magic and I will be gluing that in at a later time. Next we have the ritual section and another bookmark of mine. This one is also a little bit long, it sticks out at the bottom, uh, but we'll see. Uh, and this just has different sections about the ritual, like building an altar, basic ritual, ritual bath and robe, and all of those things. Then we have the spell section which will also fold out. And we have the witchy craft section for making a book of shadows, making a wand, pinecone candle holder, making a candle, things like that. 
then we have symbols and I'll put a whole page of all my favorite symbols and the ones I work with and then this section has changed unlike the other ones. This is for mythology and I'll have a collection of my favorite mythical creatures as the cover and then this section previously was the dragon section so this fold out area is dra draconic stuff that will be included in my draconic book of shadows but from there I'll add mythical symbolism, mythical magic, and the mythical mindset, connection, and offerings, then a whole section for mythical creatures themselves, and I'll have the unicorn, the griffin, the hippogriff, dragon, fae, phoenix, if I didn't already say that already, but just all those guys will be in here, like the unicorn and stuff. And then we have mythical guardians and guides. Uh, that one will include my experiences with my own mythical guardians and guides as well, so it's a little bit of both. And then we have the mythical mystic and my mythical script. We have my favorite myths. And then we have the next section that's new, which used to be the fairy section for my beliefs and being. It has who am I, my purpose, mind, body, and spirit, what I believe in, uh, my symbolism, my correspondences, my eclectic practices, my creativity and creation, my magic, how to summon my spirit, and then the next section is divination that hasn't changed. So it's just divination, tarot and oracles, shadow work, runes, scrying, different types of divination, then we have the herb section and the crystal section, and also a little bit of info on psychedelics, as well as the zodiac at the end. Lastly is the universe section, which hasn't changed either, has the world, the planets, the sun, the moon, the stars, constellations, universal laws, sacred geometry, and then my conclusion and notes. And that's pretty much my book of shadows right now and how it's been updated, but this little sucker of a pocket broke because I made it with hot glue only, so I will have to fix that with a needle and some thread. However, we have this pocket at the bottom which includes some coins that I have and some other knickknacks in there. First being a little coin that has a tree on it and it has a serenity prayer on the back. I was raised Mormon and some things that I learned in that experience have stuck with me and the serenity prayer is one of them. Next we have the shell here and my sister got me these actually. It says breathe on the back and it's absolutely beautiful and the color really matches my book of shadows. Then we have a triquetra. This was actually from a letter, so it's like a wax seal that I peeled off. Loved it. I'll probably incorporate it inside of one of my books. And then next, inside this book, excuse me, next we have the Luck of the Irish coin that my sister also got me. And my Irish heritage is very close to me. My grandpa actually immigrated here from Ireland, so it's really something special in my family. Next, we have this weird pearl-like bead thing. I don't know. I'm gonna incorporate it on a charm for this book, so I don't know. For now, she lives in here. Next, we have this Aquarius plate as I am an Aquarius. It's my sun sign. This was a bracelet that my boyfriend got me a while ago, but it broke, and now I want to incorporate it into the book cover somehow, and we'll see how that happens. This is a worry doll that my sister also got me, and basically you whisper your worries to it and sleep with it under your pillow or next to your bedside, and then all your worries will be gone. That's the little tour of my Book of Shadows as of right now, and after I do some more work in it, I will go ahead and give you guys another tour. I'm very open about my books online. I've always have been, as my channel's been about the perspective of me sharing and discovering with you if magic actually exists. That's how my channel started, and so I'm not shy to share some information with you guys. Certain things I'm sure I'll keep private like I always do, but I'm very open about my Book of Shadows, and some people aren't. It's it's really important to remember that some people don't like to share what's inside, but I do. I think that by sharing my craft authentically, I can help dispel some of the misconceptions about witchcraft, and I can help inspire some people to be a little more creative with their own books and things like that, as this book literally changed my life, changed the course of my channel, and it always inspires me, and whenever I pick it up and hold it in my hands, it is pure magic. It's literal magic in my hands. And visualizing something and bringing it to fruition is such a powerful experience and really humbling too. And it shows you just how real your magic is because I couldn't have made this book without my magic. And I just really love sharing the power of that online and with all of you hatchlings out there and with those who care to learn in my own life. I 
love sharing and showing it off a little bit just because it means so much to me and it brings me so much joy. I just hope that it can bring you joy too. And if you guys have any ideas for future Book of Shadows types of videos, I'd love to know. Bookbinding and crafting is like my specialty craft. I'm a huge writer too, so just like making books to write in is like a guilty pleasure of mine and I may or may not have too many books, but <laughs> either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye.